Welcome back as the Bear Creeks to welcome you into another relaxed and majorly boxed edition of Disinformed After Dark. I'm Shane. I'm John. I'm Michael. I'm Courtney. And we're doing very aggressive head movement today. <laughs> John did it, so I thought, why not? I'll do it. It's uh, Friday part three, apparently, in here. <laughs> oh, it's going to be grand. Got to get down on Friday. Is that on your list? No. <laughs> it is now, as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, in case you don't know, and I don't see how you couldn't at this point, all four of you, we are the hosts of the ever-increasingly popular podcast, <laughs> The Disinformed Podcast, which flees your preferred provider app every marvelous Monday morning. We will randomly discuss esoteric topics, and we will lie about them, and it is entertaining. It better be. <laughs> oh, don't hurt me, Daddy. <laughs> So, uh, we kind of use this as our decompression from the week's recording, and there's a lot to decompress from this week, as you've all heard throughout our myriad discussions of our technical problems and our discussion of the Colonel's finger licking fun Ooh with the Empire of Japan. Uh, <laughs> oh, yo! Oh, boy, yeah! <laughs> That's Malaysian. I'm sorry, it's oh. different. That's, I'm sorry, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> <That's, that's, that's, laughs> sorry, God. Uncle Roger fans are very upset at me right now. But uh, uh, thank you for, for joining us here because we are going to finally unveil the disgusting <laughs> pics of John and Michael in their enjoyment of ridiculous music. Yeah, I think, to do, I think Michael gets to go first. Okay. I will do that. Oh, he wants to be the band aid this wanna, time. Wanna, no, wanna I will. I will just be wanna... loud and boisterous as I always am. Huh? Huh? Oh. What? You there, Where God? am I? Oh, Hello. And the harm. Is Nixon still president? Um. So the Sorry. first two um are the main songs. Uh, the main theme songs from Kingdom Hearts one and two, um, being Simple and Clean and Sanctuary by um wow. a, a name that I'm gonna butcher. <laughs> Uh, you, you Tada Hikaru. Dang, you almost said that right. Yes. That's well, what thank you would show us favorite Melissa's very excited right now because she's a big Kingdom Hearts fan. So, congrats. It's great. I, uh, Those are great songs and they fit well with my playlist. Hearts well, and minds, friends. That's all we're trying to win here. I will. I will say that before the third uh, Kingdom Hearts came out, I went through and played through all of the oh. ones leading up to it, so I can try and understand the story. And I did not. Michael, do you have a dark heart? No. That's unfortunate. Thanks. Moving on. <laughs> okay. Um, the impression that I get from the mighty mighty bass tones. <laughs> or bass tones, but uh... <laughs> I like bass tones. <laughs> I, I like think to the, think that they're just a like real big fish. They're just fish themed. You no, know, I think the mighty mighty uh, bass tones is the uh, like flipper fish that's on the wall <laughs> yeah. that sings that song. Uh, Billy Bass is yes. his name. Never he has have. a name. <laughs> Never have been nailed to wood. <laughs> but I know someone who has. <laughs> and he doesn't smell too good. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't smell. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that. That was, that was a great. That was a great, great cover. I'm improv all over the place. We didn't talk about my Wonder Wall cover on the episode. Oh, oh and so what a good. damn Sad shame day. it was because it was beautiful. I forgot to mention it to Melissa, so I will have to share that story when I get yeah. home. But. Um. So the next one is uh, "Too Bad" by Nickelback. I actually am wow. a fan of his of I, their earlier works. I like that it was his. Yes, <laughs> so, you're, you're, you're talking to a fan. And they uh, say that I, um, I'm on the record as being uh, pre the pants around the ankles discussion from Nickelback. Yes. Yep. Uh, I I did enjoy their music, and I still to this day. Uh, Nickelback introduced me to Big Rec. I have said that on this podcast you have. previously, yes. but they're all uh, Canadian. So I have to. I I owe Chad Kroger and the and the boys something for that at least. If not for taking Avril Lavigne out of, you know, making music, which is sad. I should have put Skeeter Boy or something. I actually, I Avril, know. she actually has uh, been featured in a song recently. I don't remember the Sam, name. But... Sam put uh, a song that she's featured on to one of the Damn Jam playlists mm -hmm. called Wings Clipped. Mm -hmm. And it's an authentically great electronica song. Yeah, I um, I'm with you is one of my absolute favorite That's songs. A I song. am a fiend. I really enjoyed Avril Lavigne. So I would have put that, that on my list, boyfriend. Though? What? 
<laughs> anyway, I wouldn't put her on my list, though, because I'm not embarrassed to say that I'm a fan. It's a fine point. Yes, yeah. Um, speaking of early music, um, Stains, It's Been a While. Oh, shit, friend. Oh, early shit. Early to who? <laughs> I mean, when I mean early, I mean, like, 90s I was 67 when that album came out, Michael. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I... When I think early, I mean like it was a lot of music that I was into when I was younger. Okay, I was already a gushing grandpa by that well, time. Well, yes, I understand. <laughs> Were you gushing grannies I as was, a gushing I was, grandpa? I was making geysers out of gushing grannies. <laughs> I was going to say he, he gave them that name. Hey, and I'm not hungry anymore. Uh, <laughs> um, You're thirsty though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, I never did give him that blanket. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oops, I Did It Again by Britney Spears. Fair. Perfect. I had um, Toxic on my long list, by the way. Ooh, so. okay, okay. Um, this one is a nerd thing. Um, John Cage's uh, 433, which is pretty much, he was this weird eccentric composer. Uh, he composed a 4 minute and 33 uh, second song of just pure silence. That's actually the what? song, and I've uh-huh. seen it performed um, yeah. at a local uh, <laughs> at university. What, what key is it in? Oh, I couldn't remember. Bullshit. I never played it myself. <laughs> it's probably like a simple key, like B flat or something like that, an easy uh, orchestral key. Well, the song B flat, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's you know, what, what's funny is that audiences perform that song every time we finish a tune. It's well, very true. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite like part is when I actually saw it performed in an actual concert. Did you cry because you had to sit with your thoughts for four minutes? Well, no, because I, I wasn't that jaded. It was it was a younger younger version of me but yeah. um so they had i think it's either three or four movements which would be uh the com- or the director yes would, <laughs> everyone would lift up their instruments and then they'd send them back down and so halfway through during leading into the second movement people thought it was over and so people started clapping and <laughs> they just continued sitting there and it was probably one of the best awkward moments i've ever experienced because people were like and then they just like awkwardly kind of died off and then they went back to being quiet i imagine with your bedroom forays alone that would be you know i've given you that experience more <laughs> times than i was like oh is it finish it oh no it's still going on it's uh it's more like 420 more like 46 right <laughs> <laughs> 46 milliseconds Generous. Um, yeah. it's not a 69 second run i'll tell you that much uh and then um ellie golding's lights that's oh. a beautiful song and <laughs> i love it to death you, you shut your face <laughs> That's yeah. With you, John. Oof. There's no accounting for taste in this room. Two yeah. people like my songs, so I also like her uh, the Bass Nectar remix, which was actually probably one of my favorite ones. But um, that's again me being a weird nerd. <laughs> the, the, the Billy Big Mouth Bass Nectar <laughs> remix. <laughs> and uh, my last one is RJD2. Uh, no, I'm kidding. That I'm actually proud to say that I'm. Uh, I like that. Um, that was a good callback. <laughs> you actually uh, cracked me. Uh, have, really... have you guys ever heard of uh, Mad Men? You know, um, strangely enough, I have seen all the seasons. And uh, I have heard that song more times than I've heard your voice. Um, my last one is more just uh, the band in general. Uh, I'm a real big fan of Lonely Island. Oh, hell yeah, dog. <laughs> <laughs> now it's my turn to be like... Sandberg. I know who it is, John. He's a comedian. You, you've exposed... He's been on SNL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If, if he's funny, I'm chiseled out of brownies. critically acclaimed movie pop star never stop never stopping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That I actually have not seen, which is I weird considering either. how much I enjoy Lonely Island. Yeah, Shane uh, is not. John's seen it? the only idiot in the room who's willing to pay money to see these. Things. Okay, I think I think <laughs> okay. we all need to sit down together and watch I this don't. movie, and you'll I'm, come out the other end a fan. I can I'm almost vetoing this it. right now. <laughs> it's not happening. Ah, uh, if you want us to watch it, uh like the video okay so we're never gonna fucking watch it it's like, that requires more money than any of you has we've all established the after darks don't pull in the fans or tell someone else yes that, yeah get more people to watch our videos wait if- so if i go on to our after darks and comment from my personal page we'll watch it yeah. i mean if this if this gets a hundred views there we go challenge so accepted maybe maybe um, in like well, 30 years actually not challenge accepted john doesn't realize we post these things nor does he know how to find them <laughs> and he hasn't listened to one yet so other than gal well, he got go. me stumped but i'm not gonna stop <laughs> trying <laughs> well michael thank you uh there you know not a digimon to be found 
I'm very actually kind of sad because I don't have that CD anymore, and I was too uh, I couldn't be bothered to look it up or listen to it. So, yeah. What slot did you lose it in? <sighs> slot C. I don't think you're supposed to say that anymore. <laughs> I did. Sorry. Right. <laughs> Ooh. I feel like my top ten guilty pleasures intersect all of yours. <laughs> Uh, well, and, you and got me and very just, curious. And just for the bit, like, to... we didn't consult each other on our, our tops. Nobody like, this not. is purely innocent. So, what Lonely Planet song are you there? <laughs> <laughs> Lonely Planet. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so these are in no particular order, just like Shane's. It's not like a ranking of le most it's to least. Oh, whatever. yeah, I don't think um, that I did that either. So I'll just read them as they were added to the list. Um, we got Limp Biscuits Nookie. I hate you, but uh, go on. Uh, we have Toxic from Eshniko. Yes. So we got the Eshniko in Perfect. there. Um, an old throwback from Nicki Minaj featuring Eminem called Roman's Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Which if you have not heard it at the end, she puts on a British accent and raps the last 30 seconds in a terrible, terrible British accent. Um, intrigued now? <laughs> calling back to earlier times uh, in my life, we got seether with the song needles oh. off of their they're guilty for me now hey, oh john you oh, I sad, could have said sad evanescence man. i could have done bring me the line or uh, broken no well i mean that is also a good one yes but um we have did it did it do from blackpink the oh, k-pop okay. joint yeah. mm -hmm. okay um my favorite guilty pleasure metal band attila with about that life which is essentially just a metal rap screamed song about bitches and hoes okay. which is really fun just like your yeah. life yeah. exactly yeah um Sorry, we have the band boys like girls with the great escape yes which i'm embarrassed to like but i do <laughs> um hawthorne heights ohio is for lovers yes <laughs> all right this is great. Shane, you're so hurt. You're gonna cry. I'm, I'm, no, hilarious. I'm just making the faces you were making as I was running down my list. So um, just reciprocating. And then we'll intersect with Michael. I have a song from Stained off their first album called Just Go. Huh. That's a good one. I and would go with Mud Shovel, personally. It was I'm a, not ashamed of liking that. I'm ashamed to like them. So. I'm ashamed now, but I'm not ashamed at the same time. We've talked about this recently. Um, I would have chosen Mud Shovel. Um, or a flat off of that album, but that, I listen. There are are many, very very pale women who have given me minutes of enjoyment for the fact that I had an Aaron Lewis thing going for a few years. So you did. I I can't besmirch them at all. Uh, and then my final song is from Asher and I's favorite band, which is Bro Job, and the song is called "We Are the Boyfriend Stealers," <laughs> and. Uh, Never have I ever heard a song start with a man screaming in a guttural tone to a nasty breakdown saying, give me a hickey with your butthole. Yep. I uh, that line so... is going to make it out somehow. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I right. have no time to spare. It's dick o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Indeed. <sighs> so those, yes. those are my guilty These pleasures the off the lines. cuff. Beautiful. But I feel like I feel like the list could be ever evolving for me because I feel like on a day-to-day -day basis, I listen to something going... Really glad no one's around. <laughs> what is that like? What does it feel like? That to shame? Feel guilt? Yeah, because I, I don't feel that with anything I yeah, listen to. That's why I'm just like, I like it and I don't care. Yeah, that's why it was so hard for me to actually assemble this list. And like, I like Stain. Like, I, I can't say that I know a lot of their songs because that's also another issue that I wanted to bring up. Like, most artists that I can say that I like, air quotes, it's because I only know a couple of their songs because I have no motivation to actually delve into the artists themselves the only couple that i have done so are lonely island and then john will judge me for this 21 pilots yes, <laughs> uh, going so far to say i've been to their concert that they had a couple years ago here so quality material yes friends. yes quantity they went to high school with a friend of mine oh ah, interesting true story <laughs> there did, but, did, uh, did the friend get them their pilot's license or no that's unfortunate Oof. i have no end to this bit so we're just going <laughs> off for a small battle but i do want to know what what is it so you guys are both practicing musicians i went to school for music for a while so what is it why do you feel guilty about the music that you listen to well i'm a lapsed musician firstly <laughs> um, 
Um, I would say there are some things for me. The the only reason that something tends to fly in the face of of my liking it is that I was hypercritical of either similar sounding music mm. or of the genre in general. So then, when I am hoisted upon my own petard, it more becomes embarrassing to then go. Yeah, I kind of like the Dixie Chicks, which are apparently not the Dixie Chicks anymore. They just are the just chicks. the Chicks, which is no less reductive, I think. <laughs> but um, and, and it's only very certain songs, but there are moments where I'm like, okay, this transcends the genre barrier for me. But uh, anytime I hear Shania Twain, I still want to take a chainsaw to the side of my skull. Like I, it's just there's gradients there. Okay. Certain bubblegum pop does the same thing for me, where I'm like, oh, I would hate this under normal circumstances, but for some reason, there's a woo woo hair on the back of my neck that decided <laughs> to stand up at Mandy Moore's voice this time, and I'm like, all right. The weirdness for me is the is like a, it's almost like an insecurity thing because you hear these songs like Ash Nico. Like you listen to any of her songs and you're like, those are three, maybe three and a half chords and lyrics that a dog could write. And I'm not, that's not, that sounds really, really aggressive and it's hyperbolic for sure. But it's an insecurity thing because why didn't I think of that shit? You know, like, why couldn't I jump on, on that bandwagon? I think the guilt comes from a respect in a weird way. Like it's so simple and it works and it connects with people. But here I am trying to write like six part concepts um, for no reason other than I, I have equipment and I can attempt to. I think Ash Nico of all of that on that list makes perfect sense to me, actually. One, for why you like it. And two, for the content. Um, if I'm... It, I'm not trying to be incendiary here, but we're just commenting on something that is very rationally put together. If a man tried to write those songs, they would not be popular, no. nor well received. Well, look at a um, woman owning her sexuality and then subsequently which, exploiting again, it is easy to sell because both men and women will go for it, men more than most, and you know it's it's easy to package. You can put it on. She aesthetically looks really well. If she were say. Robin Thicke. Or me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, it's been like, done. It's, yeah. it's not interesting. If I put on a G-string and walked out and sang one of her songs, I don't, I don't know think about anybody that. would necessarily go for I it. I think it you're is... about to find your audience that you didn't know. And that's how we get more subscribers. <laughs> and that is going to be OnlyFans.com backslash Shane slash uh, bears don't go on OnlyFans, friend. I hate to break it to you. There's not a lot. Yeah, of we're just gonna yet. post. This is gonna. That's gonna be the new After Darks. Uh, no, it's just someone. Shane wants to After get Dark. <laughs> I'm apparently it's gonna just download. Him stumbling back and forth from his bedroom to the bathroom. Like the uh, fucking uh, <laughs> Silence of the Lambs, Buffalo Bill bit. If, if I download Grinder tonight, then apparently this will be our audience. This is the way to find me. Guess where Shane's at tonight. <laughs> You don't work my nipples, I can't get aroused. <laughs> Do you know where your Shane is after dark? <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping, mostly. 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 <laughs> Usually covered in pussy. Oh, I Margo. have two cats that sleep on top of me constantly. That's just that's my life. I agree with your points. Yes. It's hard to articulate that on the fly, on, on why guilty pleasures are guilty pleasures. Yeah. It's, you know, but like to your point, though, I love the things I love. Mm -hmm. And to the extent that in public, I had one of the greatest moments. And I'm not sure I've told this story in the podcast, but I was driving to go to a band practice in Scottsdale with a person who will remain nameless. And uh, I pulled up to a stoplight and I have the windows rolled down because it was a, a lovely autumnal day. And I wanted to embrace the 70 degree weather in Phoenix. And I was blaring Stevie Wonder's shotgun. And I wasn't just blaring Stevie Wonder Shotgun, I was singing along to it. Like which, brushing your teeth heard it. Yeah. Like, shotgun! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hanging out of the light, and up drives the waspy-ish, like, <laughs> driving gloves in, in, like, a random, you yes. know, roadster with the cap that does the total, like, slow head tilt, like... <laughs> to look at me at which point being me i just continue <laughs> <laughs> and 
and pull through the lights. So it just, you know, depends on the mood, but that's, that's where we go. Well, thank you all for sharing. It was an interesting yeah. study and it gave us a, a little time to take a breath and end what technically qualifies as the first season of Disinformed After Dark, even though we technically haven't done 52 episodes. Eh. I mean, yeah. We're splitting hairs here. So maybe this is the uh, the point where we, we give it a rest for a little bit and then decide whether or not we want to come back and do, you know, what we're reading or, or uh, you know. Book I feel club. like I feel like when if we come back for After Darks, it'll be for a very like Specific. pointed purpose. Yeah. Probably more produced. Uh that sounds you're like on, you're on camera right now, so I just want you to note this because we all have energy. Because I need to be prepared. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Well, ladies and germaphobes, thank you very much. As per usual, I do tend to indicate that if you're enjoying the content that you are hearing. Michael has got some instructions for you, and we get to watch this happen. Oh, I can't lean forward. This couch is hard go to get it, out of. Go for it. Go for it. Get all that energy. Shoot. You can even stand up if you want. No, that's too much effort. Smash that like button. And my shoulder popped really loudly when I did that. <laughs> uh, leave a like. Uh, hit subscribe. Um, I don't know. Ring the, the bell. Ring the bell. Tell other people, please. Like, make us popular. I don't know. I, I have uh, a question for the room. Who ordered the hot dogs? Away. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't think that this would get us demonetized. Sorry. Yeah, I had that big dick. <laughs> <laughs> Hannibal Smelter over here. It's good times. But uh, also, we're back here every wacky Wednesday on the tubes of you, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, where we will give you more fan friction, and we are nearly, hopefully, concluding the squeak wool. To my immortal, which has been excruciating in all the best ways and fun for everyone listening. So thank you for going on the journey with us. And I think that is going to wrap it up into a gloriously distasteful and shamed little bow Ooh. for this week's dad. I happen to be Kenton Operado. I am a Timothy Lone Cactus. I am Robert Greer, also known as Peter Greer, or to so close it. Bastone Greer. <laughs> the mighty, mighty Bastones. <laughs> and I'm Jean Grey Ghost. And I would like to remind all of you that whilst you have a moment, you should remember I'm reaching. <laughs> and you <I'm> reaching. <laughs> should probably attempt to live, laugh, and lie.